Go. Hey, everybody, we've all seen the King Kong versus the Godzilla fight. The question is, who won those fight? Who legitimately is now the king of the monsters? Now, Godzilla. one way to take a look at it, there's one way to take a look at it, and there's another way to see the truth, okay? So I'm gonna let Cal spew his, uh, <laughs> his venom and explain what madness he wants to talk about in terms of the fight. So what there were three kind of Donald things Trump around. nonsense was that? What, what kind of Donald Trump nonsense there was, was that? There's one way to see it. There's one way there to see the truth. It, it is, whatever it was you said, spin document. Godzilla won the fight. They it, broke that. They broke it up into rounds. Okay. King Kong lost two of the three. He lost. Godzilla's the king of the monsters. Even at the very end, we see Kong over there. And Godzilla, even Godzilla's like, hey, wait a second, wait a second. This isn't done. Okay, you're standing over there. You got this axe. Okay, what's going to happen, buddy? Kong submits. He drops the axe. He's like, no, I don't want any more. I don't want any more fighting. Godzilla's like, yeah, that's what I thought. Turns over, goes to the ocean. He's like, yeah. And the king returns to his throne. And Godzilla just sits over there. And he goes to go play in, uh, where? He goes to go play in Jungle World with his little with his little friend over there. And they, they do sign language. And he's, he's good. It's called Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth. So first of all, that's the... the that doesn't really give the whole story. Number one, there was a battle between the first battle on the ocean, okay, which is 100% Godzilla's territory. You know where Godzilla, you know, he can he can breathe underwater. He can shoot um, fire laser beams out of his bad breath. You can um, has a gigantic tail. You know, so he has a lot of powerful weapons here that he has that unfortunately Kong doesn't have, even though they're roughly the same size. But Kong has intelligence and speed and maneuver. You know, he has the rope a dope, ba ba ba. And so he clearly, the first one, he was unbalanced because they were on the ocean and it was tough fighting there when you're fighting against somebody who breathes underwater. The second fight was more a clear classic fight between one opponent versus another. And therefore, Kong won that decisively. It wasn't even close. He had a weapon. He had a weapon that actually got charged with Godzilla's atomic breath. And then he hit him with the weapon that was charged by Godzilla's atomic breath. He didn't win that one either because the weapon did the damage. And that was Godzilla's own energy hitting him. Look, Kong, that Kong was also has something. Godzilla has more offensive capability than Kong. But Kong also has something that Godzilla doesn't have. And you know what that is? It's called a losing record. Yeah, as he dropped two of the three matches to Godzilla. You know, this look, he lost. The third match, he lost. The third match yeah. Kong was tired. You know, I mean, the man has been working. He's been going through Earth all day long, back and forth. And so he was exhausted by, he, he fought a fresh Godzilla. And so Godzilla was able to overcome him. But just remember, Godzilla got whooped, whoop butt by um, Mecha Godzilla. And Kong, Kong had to be the one to come in and save the day. Okay, it's just that by the time the end of that fight was over, Kong was tired, and so he's like, "Yo, I'm gonna drop my thing. I don't really want to get into anything right now." You know, well, I'm that, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if the fight had gone on, Godzilla would have found a way to uh, to found a way to win. That's what he normally does anyway. They've so, given all the possible weapons in order to win, which is not fair. Give give you know we need to give King Kong like um, missiles on the back on his back, or give him the ability to, to to fly or something like that. Then it will be a much more even fight. If you give one guy four or five offensive weapons and give one guy, the other guy, just his intelligence and speed to do it, it's, it's just not a fair battle. So that's what I wanted See, to say. I thought if you were really going to go into this and so you would have a better understanding of why it is that Kong lost. Kong's not a monster. He's a beast. Okay. He's just a big gorilla at the end of the day, but he's not a monster. He doesn't, you know, yeah, he can jump and flip around and punch stuff and he's tough, but he's not really a monster. And that's one of the reasons why we can root for him because he's fighting these reptile nasty things at the end of the day. Those are monsters. However, yeah. Godzilla's the king of the monsters. All right, so we want him there. We don't want Kong. We want Godzilla there to take care of those other monsters because we know that Godzilla has always got something extra up his sleeve to come over there and, de and decimate these dudes. Kong? Kong's not in the same category. If Kong had to go bite some giant lion or something or a dinosaur, yeah, sure, it's great. But Godzilla? No, look at the offensive capabilities over there. And look, Kong acquitted himself respectively. He put up a good fight. He came and he helped Godzilla out at the end, even though I'm certain Godzilla would have found a way to get out of it if he had to. But at the end of the day, there's only one king of the monsters and that is Godzilla. Petey, what's your take on that madness? 
Oh, you want me to say something after the, this um, separate battle that you guys have been going through? You know that you just wanted to have this out with, with Cal, that's had this big battle. But now you're going to drag me I mean, back. Cal wanted to have it out. So now that I'm in, you know, huh? Cal wanted to have it out with me. So why are you blaming me? He's the one who's been pushing for this madness. You're not hosting the show. You're saying, yeah, well, what about this? Yeah, well, what about that? That sort of thing. I'm asking, obviously, if you're the host, you we want your opinion on things, but at the same time, make it a show. Instead he's of this. vilifying, he's vilifying, slanderizing. Um, All right, you, I wanted to tell you that this movie was the worst. We're not talking about the movie. We're talking about the fight. We are, oh, we can't talk about, about the fight. fight. We can't talk about all the every, all the plots. And we all the we're not talking about that yet. That's a whole other thing. We're talking about the fight. Well, there you go. You had a Godzilla that could wreck four. What was it like um, four ships in three minutes while King Kong is riding on the ship? I already they already said that this character can't win. Now I know they're going to do some. What is it? Some David versus Goliath stuff, but they did it a little early when they finally get to mixing it up. How does King Kong get any enough strength to even, you know, fight this character underwater? You know, King Kong is not swimming on his own power, right? It's Godzilla that's making these moves and traveling at speeds way faster than those ships. So that alone, him being able to travel that fast says how strong he is. Then they get in a fight and they're mixing it up. I'm like, I can't see them mixing it up. His very motion to do that. But then what what is what is um what does Godzilla do? He wraps him up and he brings him down. So you want me to talk about the fights, right? So they're fighting, he's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill this monster, a monster that won't bow, right? Kong bows to no one. So what do they do? They do depth charges. Somehow that doesn't affect Kong. So you're you're stilting it, you're right into it so you can have another fight. So then the next one, they have to get the, what is it, the King Kong version of the old mirror, something that absorbs power. And he's going to like, you know what? My blast that's right in front of my face, like Kong can get away. Anything I'm looking at, I can hit. He's able to like weave around this thing that's moving instantaneously. Every time someone has a blast, someone can always dodge it when, it, when they use the effect. It's like a light ray. It's like when you turn on a light or flash and you immediately get hit on the spotlight. Somehow with the fire, I can dodge. So and that sort of thing. So one of the things that I kind of struggle with is the sort of up and down of the power level. So the laws of physics changing when it comes to these fights. And that clearly happened in the, the second one. Where I agree with you right there. The laws of physics don't work because they keep giving so much of the power levels to- No, oh, he to already has the power. Once you see him ride, going through the water at those speeds and you have those ships that can't escape him, that already says that Godzilla is hella strong. His power level going down so they can fight is the big problem. So then when they fight and he wasn't a, gets, gets, gets side, and Godzilla goes down and they say, oh, this round goes, because oh, then once you say that, we know there's going to be a third round. And then he gets he gets stomped on, and he finally gets him to stomp on. And then they have the, the, the movie logic. It's like, all right, once you resuscitate someone, it happens even in Marvel Comics. They resuscitate the Hulk. They resuscitate these characters. They come up, and they're ready to fight again. No, after they resuscitate you, you need to recover. <laughs> you need some time to recover. No, you're not back at full strength. He's a hero coming back to save the day, bro. He doesn't need to resuscitate. Well, you know what? I, I am once again just like Kong. I'm sur- I'm, I'm I'm being attacked on two sides. Kong or Khan? It sounds like you're saying Khan, like Wrath of Khan. Khan. Okay, there we go. We got the G. I was trying to that. Just like Kong, you are losing this round. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we have to agree once again to disagree on this matter because clearly it's not um, it's seen by others is not clearly as I have seen it, okay? So, any more to add to this, Jen? saying that we have to see it how you see it? I never said that. I just said it's not, we're not <laughs> all seeing it clearly. Clearly. <laughs> okay. So, but I will give Kong, I will give Godzilla one and a half rounds with a save by Kong at the end. Just remember, without Kong, it never would have been won. The, the fight never would have been won, okay? Do we agree that you know, Godzilla couldn't no. defeat Mecha Godzilla on his own? Do we agree no, with that? No, because Godzilla charged the axe for him so he could do the damage. So what was he going to do without Godzilla there to give him the assist? Did you forget well, that part? 
Did you forget that part? Yeah, yeah, you did forget that part. Yeah, okay. There is that, but then it's kind of took a um a Hobbs and Shaw sort of um, ending. I got to see this. Would be like, Oosh! and then the, 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 what's the name? Actually, Idris Elba was mechanized, so it was like, Oosh! and we ripped <laughs> the back and all that other dumb stuff. It was like, come on. All right, Jen. So let's wrap this. Um, who won? Who won the uh, the fight between Godzilla and uh, and King Kong? The crown currently goes to oh. King Kong. Thank you very much. Spinner rack out. Out. I didn't expect you to say the crown would go to King Kong. Um, Cal. Thank you. Did we lose Cal? I think we lost Cal. No, I'm, I'm gritting my teeth, so I don't say anything untoward. You said, I asked you who, who wears the crown, and you said King Kong. I said Godzilla. Did you, what did you hear, Petey? I heard you saying King Kong. What did he Cars. say? What did he say? I don't think he agreed. Oh, OK, then you know what? You say that. You say resolution. Cal, who won, who won the crown? Godzilla. <laughs> OK. Petey, who wears the crown? Godzilla doesn't have a crown. He just is the king of all monsters. He just does his thing and goes about his business. Okay. The well, key there point it is. was that Kong doesn't back down. So Godzilla's like, anyone that's doing any wide-scale fighting on this planet is not going down. Kong still had to act. He's like, you know what? Maybe I don't need to do this. Maybe I could take a, I'll take a pass on this one. You know, I didn't bow down. I just, you know, kind of said, you know, I put it down. I didn't go into an aggressive manner. I would yeah. be non-aggressive. And Godzilla looked at him like, yeah, you know who's in charge, right, buddy? You know who's, you know what time it is. So they decided to divide the, the world. Godzilla takes the upper world. King Kong is king of the monsters in the um, hollow, hollow, world, hollow world. And I think that's a fair thing. More like King Kong escapes where Godzilla can't get to him. <laughs> I need to get out of here. This dude is tough. Spinnerack, out, out.